Hey guys, Sarah from Irons Outdoor, and today I'm switching gears as it's getting a little bit colder. The bass fishing is probably gonna be slowing down pretty fast here soon. So I'm out trout fishing today with my friend Drake, and we are at our little hole that we caught a ton of fish last winter. I discovered this hole like on my own one day. I was just really exploring and came way or like way down this trail and found this little hole. And we caught like so many trout here last winter. There wasn't a single day I didn't catch one, except the last time I came here, which was when it was like really high and muddy in March. And I only stayed for like 30 minutes. So I think today we have a good chance of catching fish. I mean, the water's a little bit high, slightly murky, but it's for the most part pretty clear. So hopefully we'll be on some uh, trout today. And I forgot to mention, I did get a new St. Croix rod. I think it was like five videos ago or so that I broke my St. Croix Triumph. And it was under warranty. And I guess their policy is like, you basically have to pay $50 for a new rod. So I paid the 50, but I also got an upgrade um, to this, I think it's the St. Croix Premier, which is like normally 140. So it was an extra $40. So basically it ended up being like $90 instead of 140 because of the warranty. But I don't know, it's a 6.6 ultralight. So I think it should be able to cast pretty far. Had one. Really? Yeah. Okay, well, Drake claims he missed one, so. They might, still be <laughs> they might still be down here. <laughs> oh, there's a fish. That's definitely a fish. No doubt about it. Wait, do you have your net? <sighs> Probably gonna need it. I forgot my net today, so I'm relying on Drake. Drake, professional net man. Oh, there nice. we go. All right, so yeah, I'll take the net. That's a pretty good sign. I don't know how, we're probably like five minutes in maybe, maybe 10. I'll see what my camera says. All right, my camera says seven minutes. So did not take long, probably like, I don't know what cast this was, maybe my 10th cast or something like that. But, but I already got a little fish right there, probably like a 10 inch rainbow, nothing, nothing huge. All right, first little trout of the day, definitely a stalker. You can see his uh, fin there. I think basically every single trout in this stream is a stalker, but I will take him. Oh yeah, I've seen these lures that look like a pellet that have one hook oh, on yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wonder if that would work. Oh, another one. No way. Next cast. It's another no one. Way. Definitely a fish. A rod wouldn't be doing all that if it wasn't a fish. Oh yeah, this one's. They're pretty small. It's like another like 10 incher. But uh, I'll take them. Ooh, man. Ooh, we got a jumper. Yeah, this, this rod is real sensitive. I like it so far. I feel like he's coming off because I'm taking so long. Oh, got him. All right, second trout of the day. This guy came right off the bottom. That's how I'm catching most of these fish. I mean, there was one that we just saw surface. But for the most part, I think these fish are just kind of hanging out on the bottom or right above the bottom. There's a fish, ooh. This feels bigger, but can't tell. Well, maybe not. He actually feels pretty small. There he is, so Drake moved down, so don't have a net anymore. Gonna have to be careful landing these fish. This one's tiny, actually. Overall, these fish seem smaller than they were last year, for sure. At least the average size. It's a pretty one. He's small, but he's the most beautiful one of the day. Definitely got some better colors on them. Okay. Okay. All right, well, without the net, it's kind of hard to hold these fish, so that guy just got away. There's a fish. Oh. The bites are fairly consistent, but sometimes it's a little hard to hook them. All right, this one I'm gonna try to unhook and release pretty fast. The other one just like, came off and went into the water and swam away. So it's another real small one. The average size is definitely smaller this year. This one's kind of similar to that last fish, almost a little bit more like wild looking or something, but pretty sure they're all just stocked fish. Oh yeah, this one definitely is because his, his fin is cut. But he still has a little bit of better colors on him there. Nice little fish. Let him go. There's 
There's a fish. This one didn't take much longer. Probably only a few casts after the last one. He's a fighter. Uh, he's a little bit bigger than the last two, but still a pretty small one. All right. This one's a little... Wow, yeah, this one looks like it has better fins. Like, none of us... See those two fins right there? He seems like he's not as stocked, but I don't really know. I I think they're probably all stocked. Ooh. Okay, there that fish goes. He jumped out when I was taking a picture of him. There's a fish. Oh, wow. It's a fish? Oh, if this is a fish, it might be a big one. Yep, not a fish. I was like, dude, this guy feels huge. There's no way. It's a small one, but it was a stick. Dude, a fish was just biting it. Sometimes these trout are pretty finicky. Oh, there's a fish. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know. There's a few. I don't know if it's the same fish biting it, but I definitely got a few bites. This guy is another average size one. We've got like, I'd say four that are about the same size and then two that were like significantly smaller. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, this is why you bring a net. <laughs> Don't forget your net when trout fishing, people. This fish has both of his front fins too, so I'm assuming that some of these stock trout probably do have fins like that. Because I don't think there's any way we've caught three wild trout so far. Oh yeah, look at his back fin. He's definitely a stalker. Still, pretty little fish. That is one of the better ones of the day. There's a fish. Ooh. Dude, this one feels bigger. Could be wrong, but... Ooh. Yeah, he's the biggest of the day, I think. Uh, that's too bad I don't have a net. Kind of have to remember it next time. This is a pretty good one. Definitely the best of the day. At least... I don't know how many inches. Oh, come on. Come on. He's probably like 13 or 14, I don't know. Pretty good. All right, finally got the hook out of this squirmy fish. It's really hard to handle him without a net, but uh, got that guy off okay. There he goes. All right, so the action slowed down a little bit on that Helgramite. I mean, I'm still getting bites here and there, but I kind of want to try out these Bobby Garlands, which are crappie lures, but last year they worked really well for trout in this hole, so. I bought these yesterday, it's an albino shad color. I don't know, we'll see if it works. Oh. There's a fish, no way. Oh, okay, that fish came off, but that was my first cast with the uh, Bobby Garland. So that is a good sign. Oh, next cast, two casts with the Bobby Garlands. I've had two bites. This one seems like another decent one. Uh, well, ooh, no, he's pretty decent. It's about average size. Nothing crazy, but sometimes these trout, like, I think you just need to, like, switch lures with them because they just get tired of seeing the same thing and then they'll just bite something else. Oh, okay, there he goes. I was getting ready to release him and he just popped right out of my hands. Well, I was just talking to the camera. I looked down and I was not filming, but got another one on the... Bobby Garland just a few casts later. And it's a pretty small little one. All right, another little pretty trout. We'll let him go. It's cool, it's cool like with this clear water, you can just see him swim off. <laughs> that dude is just chilling. He's just sitting right there. I scare him off. Oh, there he goes. There's another one. This might have been my next cast. I think it was. It, I kind of let the bait drift a while, just kind of popping it up and off, like up and down off the bottom. And then they kind of hit it after it drifts for a while. 
kind of in a certain spot, but got myself another small one. I think this is fish number 10 of the day. I have been counting. I haven't been saying it, but I believe this is trout number 10. Now I've only been out here like a little over an hour, so to catch 10 fish is definitely pretty solid. Oh, got another one. This one seems better. Nah, it's another small one. I was just talking to a guy that was fly fishing. He said it was the first time here, but got me another one. Oh, and he came off. Man, I don't know if that counts. We'll just say 10. We won't count that one. There's a fish. Man, that one hit it pretty hard. All right. I want to actually... I want these fish to count, so I don't count them unless I, like, you know, touch them or land them. That last one got away. So, ooh, come on here. There we go. Count this one. Hit the bank. And I got him. Definitely counting him. It's a little guy. Some of the little ones have kind of more, are a little more colorful. They look a little cooler. Like this guy. Oh, man, his eye is bleeding. Might need to hurry up and let him go. There we go. Oh. Ooh, that guy was running with it. Ooh. Another one. That was my next cast. <laughs> he doesn't seem very big unless he's running right at me. No, he's tiny. Fish number 12. Man, these fish are so much smaller than they were last year, like on average. I mean, maybe it's just because it's earlier in the year. I mean, it's it's early December. The first time I came here last year was like December 30th, I think. Um, and then I fished in January and February a bunch here when bass fishing was pretty slow. Oh, and there he goes. Oh, barely got hooks on this guy. Hopefully he won't come off. It's a little guy. It's weird, like they're real finicky with these bites. I've already said that, but sometimes it's tough to know when to hook set. All right. This is number 13. It'd be fun to get to 20 today. I think that's very possible. This is a smaller and more colorful one there. I actually kind of ripped his mouth a little, so surprised he didn't come off trout are so squirming this guy almost shot out of my hand there he goes have you caught anything yeah i got four okay how, about you? how many do you think i've caught 12. 13 plus i lost one right here there's fish Ooh. no nah, he's not that big he's <laughs> fighting a little harder I actually just switched to the um, little crawfish lure. I'm literally just using like a $5 kit from Walmart and it comes with Helger mites and crawfish. And it also, and then I also caught some on the Bobby Garlands, but first one on the crawfish. I mean, I really think these trout just like to see something different and all these, you know, smaller, like two inch soft plastics seem to work pretty well. And here is another small one. Uh, it's number 14 of the day. Be six away from getting 20. That would be pretty cool. There's a fish. There we go. I switched back to the Helger mite. That crawfish didn't seem to be working as well. I caught one pretty fast on it, but then the action really slowed down. Well, this little guy makes 15 fish on the day. Like I said, he was on that Helger mite again. The Helger mite's definitely my favorite, and those Bobby Garlands might be my second favorite. But anyway, it's kind of crazy how easy it is to catch some of these trout. But it's fun. It's just kind of a fun, easy little way to fish. No way. No way I got to fish my first cast in this hole. <laughs> That's crazy. Typically... I've caught most of the fish out of that last hole I was in, but I definitely caught some fish out of here too. 
and I actually got one. This is kind of a, another one of the big. This is definitely the biggest deep hole. But uh, wow, first cast in it. I got one on the Helgramite. Ooh, man, dude, it's so hard to hold some of those. But man, that guy shot like right off. Oh, dude, another fish. Well, maybe I didn't need to walk all the way to that other hole. Two casts in this hole and two fish. Hopefully I can get this one in, but probably will, hopefully. All right, <laughs> there's number 17. And this guy came off right on the bank, but let me let him go. Thought he might need reviving, but a lot of these trout are real lively today. Ooh, there we go. Got one over here. It's been about 10 minutes, so I caught two on my first two casts, and then I caught one like 10 minutes later, so. This one is like, I think they've all been the same size. They're kind of smaller. All right, 18. Two more and we can hit 20. All right, there we go. Finally got him off the hook. Did you see me release that one? I just did, but I've been here for 13 minutes. I caught a fish on each of my first two casts. And then I, I'm lacking hard today. And then 10 minutes later, I just caught that. I'm up to 18 now. How many have you caught? Four. Oh. There's one. All right. I actually just switched back to the uh, Bobby Garlands because I lost the Helgramite and I was tying on a new jig head, so thought I might as well switch lures. Get in here, fish. All right. <laughs> this makes 19 on the day. Now I really want to catch one more so I can get to 20. I'm so close. Should be able to get there. Anyway, give him a little plop. There he goes. Ooh. Next cast. It's another... I've had at least three times where I've caught fish on back-to-back -back cast today. All right. Oh, this one's a little... Ooh, this one's pretty good. Oh, there we go. It's one of the better ones. Well, I just dropped my phone in the water, so Drake is releasing my fish. Well, today was definitely a lot better than I expected. I mean, I kind of expected that we'd probably catch some fish today just because uh, this stream was so good to us last winter. I mean, I caught, like, so many trout here last winter. I mean, pretty much every time I came, I caught a bunch, but... Today, you know, I hadn't been here in like a good eight months or so, so I didn't really know what to expect. I didn't know they had stocked it quite as much as they had last winter, but it turned out to be really good. And my spot that's typically better, I don't think was quite as good today. I mean, even though I caught a lot more fish at that spot, I fished it for a lot more. And I fished this little hole for like 30 minutes and caught, I think, six, seven fish maybe. So that was pretty cool. And they were a lot bigger out of this hole. Like the average size fish was definitely bigger out of here than that other little hole I was fishing. But Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. But I'll catch y'all in the next video. Thanks for watching.